All right, so I would call this again uh, my homage to uh, Pat Martino. Man, God bless this guy. So Pat was a genius, and I love Pat. And I think I, I did a video of when he passed away, and um, you know, I was just reviewing some stuff um, from his uh, little pamphlet, The Nature of the Guitar. And, you know, I think as I try to simplify the guitar sometimes, I try to do more with less, and some of his concepts um, were such that they kind of revolutionized my guitar playing, or at least my theoretical construct of guitar. Uh, perhaps the two most important ones for me are the way he talks about the augmented and diminished chord forms as being parental forms of chords. Um, I'll show you a couple of examples. Hopefully your brain doesn't hurt, but you really have to pay attention to this. It's actually online too as well. So if you Google it, um, you'll see it in a couple of True Fire videos. Uh, it, it takes some thinking, but um, take for instance, um, uh, augmented chord. An augmented chord just means you have the one, you have the third, and the fifth is sharp, right? If you lower any note of that triad, you end up with a major chord. So for example, a C augmented looks something like this, C, E, and then the fifth, which is usually here, right, um, G, is gonna be sharp. So, so that's basically a C augmented. If you lower the note of any of the three uh, triad notes, you're gonna end up with a major chord, okay? Um, for simplicity's sake, what he does is he does it from here. So it's the same, this is the same chord. So C, E, and sharp G. We're gonna put it here. C, E, and sharp G. So one, three, sharp the fifth. So that's a C augmented. If you lower this, you're left with a C major. One, three, five, C, E, G, right? So. All you did was lower one note. So again, we start off with this parental form uh, for the augmented. If I lower the, the E right here, I'm left with this chord. That's an A flat major. Okay, we start again, augmented chord. If I lower this C, kept everything the same, I end up with E major. So basically, any note that you lower um, within that triad, you get a major um, major chord. So just from this C augmented, I can produce a C, I can produce an E, I can produce an A flat major. Okay. Similarly, um, what he teaches is the diminished as a parental form. So in this case, If you lower any note of the diminished uh, um, um, chord, you're gonna get a dominant seven. So remember, in the other one, you got a major chord, now you get a dominant seven. So this is like, if I lower any note here, so in this case, you've got E, D flat, C sharp, G. So that's the chord, and that's a diminished chord. So. If I lower this note right here, I end up with an E flat seven and keep all the, uh, the remaining um, notes the same. Start off here, parental form. If I lower the B flat to here, I end up, I end up with an A seven. If I lower this to C, I end up with a C7. So these are just some great things that I got from Pat Martino. Um, so uh, in addition to that, I got warm-up exercises from this guy. So he's got what he calls the spatial fingering. So for warm-ups, and I might mess this up, but these are some chromaticism. And it looks something like... Clanking it, but you get the idea. Okay, 
And uh, it's a little hot here, so my hands are sweaty. But nonetheless, though, uh, Pat was great. And the reason I'm doing this little video is like, I came across something that is very, very near and dear to me, which was a picture of myself with Pat Martino. I had a chance to meet him when he was alive. He came here to Boston and um, played at the Regatta Bar, uh, or, or Scholars. But either way, I went all three nights. He played, I think, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday or something like that. I went every night and uh, got enough nerve to talk to him about him. He was a very, very decent guy. Um, and yeah, and I thought I lost this picture and I came across the picture and you'll see it in this video. So thank you for watching and God bless Pat. And thank you for leaving us with some great music and some great studies. Uh, practice, practice, practice as usual.